darkness. I walk into a wall of it, and it's thick with seven seas. It's almost too much to handle. My mind fractures like that one time I broke my wrist. Or that one time I broke my wrist. Or that one time I broke my Charizard's wrist. It was an accident, I swear. Anyways, I walk through the super thick darkness, traveling through the disgusting combo of smells stemming from gasoline and fiery poops. And what can I see? Nothing. As you can see, I can't. That reminds me, I need to wash ear biscuits today. Anyways, back to darkness. Thick, kind of beautiful, like handsome Squidward. I seek to find something I didn't know I needed. What, you ask? Huh. Wouldn't you like to know? Well, if you must know, I was seeking wisdom from the Steve Buscemi. He has unlocked the ability to fry an egg on his forehead using his third eye. This power intrigued me, as it was told to me by my dungeon master, Daryl. I proceeded to rip a fat boy so powerful, it nearly tore the neighborhood Sears in half. <laughs> Needless to say, this power intrigued me. As I continued through the dark stank, I reached a door that just floated around like my pet mosquito. I approached the door. I noticed it was not made of any conventional material. It was made up entirely of stale bread. The handle cracks as I turn the croissant doorknob. The door opens. Our eyes meet. My heart races as standing before me, staring at my eyeballs, is handsome Squidward. His aura was made of pure power, and then I noticed a Pokeball in his hand. He was the final gym leader. So I did what any Poke Trainer would do. I reached in my Poke Bag and shot him with my Nerf Gun Dog. I had won. I could continue my quest. Farewell, you hot squid. Rest in dog feces.